you guys haven't started filming, yes. I just told Debra, like my favorite scene of season one was Which you were interrogating her and then you like cut her and she like broke Yeah. Her. Do you hope to have more scenes like that with the upcoming season? I mean, of course. Yeah. Yeah. You're really good tormentor. Yeah. And Thank you. Really funny, like, I don't know. I can take seriously because it's just so funny to watch. I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you're Filipino? Yes. Yeah, so like. Are I, you as well? I am. Yeah, so like seeing that it reminded me of like the, the teleseries that they have in the Philippines back home with like just the super dramatic effects and like, mm. you know, like grabbing her with the metal thing that you mm -hmm. had and kind of torturing her. So. Yeah, yeah. How do you, how, how does it feel knowing you're representing like Filipinx voices? But you don't typically see them on like sci fi fantasy shows like this. If you do, they're always like a totally different. Right. No, absolutely. I think um, representation is absolutely important. I'm really happy and proud to say that I'm Filipino. Um, my parents are from Iloilo, um, and they're very happy. And the cool thing about being Filipino, it's like there's so much Filipino pride. So I get so much love from the community, especially on Instagram. They're like, oh my god, like I haven't seen someone that looks like me do something like this. And I just think that's so special, and um, I hope to represent more and more and more. Definitely, because yeah. more, more often times, like, Asians are always, like, a soft-spoken character, and then you have, like, you're, like, the complete opposite. You're kind of dizzy, right. you're not like, oh, I'm super, super good at looking back. Yeah. Like, so to see the 180 flip and see that you were going to be ready to add something that shouldn't be Right. Like, mental opera, like, it's almost, Yeah. No, I love it. And I love that, I, I know, it's kind of weird, because it's, I, I'm small, like, I'm the shortest person in the cast, and I just remember, like, when I was talking Torturing Sarah because she's she's a little bit taller than me. They were like, "Oh, Larissa, can you get up a little bit more?" I'm like, "This is as high as I can get. <laughs> this is literally." They're like, "Oh, you're you're on your tippy toes." I'm like, "I'm on my tippy toes." Yeah, no, it's great. <laughs> what about um, their last interaction between Brandon and Gabrielle at the end? Was sort of like she's kind of mad at him for like running away. What, what can we kind of expect a little bit from the two? Um. That I can't say. There's a yeah. There's a little bit of uh, how do I say a reveal in the, I think it's the first episode that happens of season two of what happens with the two of them. Um, but yeah. <laughs> what do you expect to happen to your character this season? Is there anything that you would like to portray? Anything that you would like to see for Gabriel? Um. I would like to see for Gabrielle. I mean, I think like I really, I really like making people laugh, and I love doing the comedic parts. Um, but as soon as Gabrielle's darker side was introduced, a lot of people responded to that. So I, and and the reason why she has a darker side is because the order kind of fills a void for her. Like she feels like she has a purpose. Um, so to go into that, maybe her backstory a little bit more with that, that would be really, really cool. Um, and I would love to have more scenes with um, like Sarah and Devery and Katie, just because like I, I love like the all women scenes. Yeah. Um, like the, the guys are cool too, but like you know, <laughs> girl, girl power. power. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you think that you're gonna have like a sort of like redemption arc, maybe? I mean, it, it kind of seemed like with Katie's character, you were like with her, and then you got drafted by the guy that played Jack's dad. Right. So do you think she'll have like a redemption arc? Do you need a redemption of like? Uh, well, you were kind of like staying true, I guess, to the order, but it's kind of like yes. you were like betraying her by like being by doing my own thing, yeah. right? Well, I th well, definitely when we left on in season season one, uh, Vera did does say that we're giving you another chance, and I mean, Gabrielle could be a little not bright sometimes, but I don't think she's dumb enough to screw it up, you know. Do you think your character is like? Like destined to be like evil, or is she like searching oh, for something? Do you know what that's I mean? hard. That's hard. Um, no, I think I think she's she's definitely searching for something. Like she's searching for a purpose, and I mean, although she does have like a darker side to her, it's, it's, it was because like you know she was told like this is your assignment. I need you to help me. And then she just kind of took it too far, almost, you know? So I think it's just like a learning curve. You know how we all have learning curves? We all went through those, right? You just have to reel it back in a little bit.
Hopefully. Y'all good? Okay. Thank you. Thank you.